So as always, um, this is something I bought with my own money as a normal customer. So my review is just my thoughts for my particular use. Um, I have the Phantom 3 for a year now. And one of the issues I've had with it is the batteries are expensive, so you need to look after them. And also, often you don't know if you can fly or not until maybe the evening before, depending on the weather. So when I first bought my uh, Phantom, I bought two, uh, I bought an extra 100 watt charger. So it came with one and I bought a second one. So I could charge two batteries at a time and then the, the, my third battery in the transmitter. So in two charges, I could charge everything. Uh, I also, so that I can run the batteries down if I couldn't finish the flight or if I wanted to just pop them in storage rather than put wear and tear on the Phantom, I bought this little discharge rig, which you just plug into the battery, uh, you turn it on and it will, it'll run down the battery to storage charge. When it's at storage charge now, so the light goes out. There's a little button on the, underneath that you can push to do a deep discharge, and that'll then run it down to the 8%, which is, uh, which is fine, but it's a little bit uh, DIY. It's got this bulb hanging that you have to keep out of the way of things because it gets very hot. So I was looking for something better than that. And uh, over time, of course, the, uh, the, the cheap blue four-way charger came out. This is, uh, they come from eBay. Uh, they cost, uh, mine was about £37, uh, and it basically will charge three of the, D the flight batteries at once and the, tr and the transmitter all at the same time. And it works really well, so I've used this uh, a, a little bit, it works brilliantly. Also the, uh, the discharger, there's a nicer version of that, which I've also bought, which is the, the, the USB style. So it's got a hard plastic case. Um, it's got a 10 watt bulb, not a 35 watt, so it's a little bit slower, but it's much neater. And because it's got a switch for full and um, so you can do a standard discharge to storage and you can do a full discharge for cycling. Uh, because it's got a plastic case, you can, um, it holds the bulb out of the way. So you can put it on a table and it doesn't, you'd have to, ha I wouldn't put it on top of something flammable. I'd put it on the, I use a LiPo bag so something that's fireproof so that you can use that and that protects your work surface or whatever uh, from the heat but it does exactly the same job you turn on the battery and it will light the bulb and that will then run it down to storage and then stop automatically which is exactly what you need so i've been i saw the these high-end chargers the first one was the smart power charge uh, which is about 300 plus pounds, uh, awkward to buy in the UK. It's a heavy item, so awkward to get posted from America. So, but I know people have got them, which has, uh, it, it will charge four batteries at once, and it will also charge your transmitter, and it also has USB ports, so you can charge your iPad or whatever, which is really nice, uh, but expensive, really expensive. So I saw the Sky RC 4P3 charger come out, which is uh, about 200 pounds. It's still a lot of money for something that you can do much more cheaply using those other methods. But it appealed to me because it is very neat. It's a single box. It's got a lovely handle. You plug it into the mains and uh, it's got the extra functionality over the smart power charger is that it does a storage charge. So, which is the one thing that I really like. So if you can't fly, then, or you do partial flights, when you get home, you can just plug the batteries in and run them down. Now this only does 10 watt discharges, uh, which means it will take a, uh, about five hours to, to discharge a full battery um, to, the, to cycle it down to 8%. It'll take about sort of a couple of hours to storage charge a battery, which is quite a long time, but you don't have to attend to it. It's got cooling fans. So that appealed to me. Uh, it, it default when you turn on is that it'll charge the battery uh, then you push storage for the storage mode, you turn the battery on and plug it on and it'll run it down to 50% uh, 50, 50 roughly uh, and then cycle, you turn the battery on, plug it in, it will discharge the battery down to 8% and then it will automatically then fully recharge it back to 100%. So that is really nice and a useful feature. Um, however, uh, I found it isn't actually very usable. The, the issue is, if I just drop the battery on you'll see, it's fairly hit and miss. No, okay. So basically these batteries are all flashing their third light. Right, these two are flashing the third light, which means over voltage. 
this one has actually started to charge. It does seem to be hit and miss uh, which way you plug them in, if you turn it off and on. But the fundamental problem is that the, uh, let's just take that off, is the voltage of the charger is too high. So I made a, a quick little test video to show this. The, the issue is really that the DJI chargers are 17 and a half volts. The batteries charge up to about 15 something volts, 15.8 I think. So that's, that's just over, which is fine. The blue four-way cheap eBay charger is exactly the same voltage, 17 and a half volts. This SkyLC charger is, is 18.8 volts. So yeah, as such, it's, it's really not usable. Um, it will void your warranty using a non-DJI charger, which I know all my batteries are out of warranty now. This charger, unfortunately, is a very high price and actually unusable, so. I've made a quick video, the sound is bad, but just to show what happens uh, with the cycling and, and testing the voltages, so I'll pop that on now. So this is running discharge, storage discharge on three batteries that were almost at storage, well they should have been at storage anyway. So you can hear the fan is running. And they're each showing voltages around 15.5, 15.7, 15.6. So this runs, the, I mean, this seems to take quite a long time, it takes about 15 minutes before they complete. So we'll see, uh, I'll cut away and come back when that's done. Right, so these two are finished, so I'll just pull them out. I'll turn the battery off. I'll go to um, charge. I'll plug it back in. And it's flashing over voltage. Let's try this one. So again, I'll take it off the charger. I'll just turn the battery off. Battery is cold, as you'd expect. I select charge mode. I plug it in. And again, three flashes on the, and that's over voltage. Now, if I check with a voltmeter, this is reading 18.88 volts, which is too high. Now the spec on the website for the DJI web page is 17.4 volts. If I take the, um, this is the 100 watt phantom charger. This shows 17.47 volts. So it's me rocking. 17.47 volts. So it's pretty much spot on. The, the charger itself actually says output 17.5 volts. On the cheap blue chargers from eBay. Again, this says output 17 and a half volts, so that reads 17.57 volts. So again, pretty much exactly the same. Also, on the uh, on the transmitter charge port, and this is the blue eBay charger. That also shows the same voltage, 17.5 volts, which is the correct voltage, same as the uh, official DJI charger. If I plug in the uh, on the Sky RC charger, if I check this transmitter, which is labelled 19 volts, that shows 19.38 volts. Now again, the charge, the battery in the transmitter is a 2S battery, so that's 7.4 volts. So I don't really see why there's any benefit in in having a higher voltage. But either way. These three arrow lights show that these, these batteries won't take a charge at 18.8 volts. So that means not only is it not probably sensible to have a higher voltage than DJI recommend, but it actually doesn't, it causes errors on the batteries. Um, if I just, uh, just to test, see if this one will do the same. 
it's going to do that because I've taken it off so it's on charge so I turn the battery off so the battery is off which is the correct way to charge just drop that on what's that going to do it's doing the same exactly the same so again you got the fast three flashes on the third LED which is over voltage warning now I can get around this if I turn the charger off Let's wait for those arrow lights to settle. Okay, and now I turn the charger back on. Okay, so these two are charging. This one is still showing over voltage. Let's try it on a different port. Clear that error. Okay, and I'll just drop that on. Now that's still erring again. So there's no way to charge those batteries really without turning it off and on each time, which I don't think is sensible. I suspect that's really just bypassing the error because it means the voltage is coming up when the battery starts to charge. So I'll just pull those all out. So sadly. So sadly, I feel this charger is unsafe and unsuitable, and uh, it's, it's not acceptable. Right, and just to show that the batteries are all fine, let's just plug in the uh, this is the eBay charger. Okay, so I just plug this battery in. And you can see that battery is charging perfectly, as you'd expect. Let's plug in the second one. You can see, battery's perfect. You can see that all three batteries are charging perfectly on that blue charger and they charge perfectly on the DJI charger as well so it's definitely not an issue with any of these batteries. Hope that's useful.